Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So today guys, I want to get in here because I found this, uh, give me just a minute here to fix the map. I found this video on, um, I mean not video, I'm sorry, this truck on the mod site. This is a T680 Next Generation. Uh, this is what, when SCS does come out with their own, uh, this is, I'm imagining what the truck's going to look like. Uh, I'm trying to fix the map, give me, sorry about that. Uh, this is a mod, and it was on modsites.com. Come on. I just close it. I don't know why. There. So let's get on the road. The truck's running a Cummins, um, Ax, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, it's running one of the default engines. It's a Cummins for 500 horsepower. It's the, um, uh, IX uh, 15, I believe, with a default, um, with an 18-speed eating full of transmission. It does come with the, um, all the SCS DLC. You can get all the, um, the stripes. It doesn't come with the newer one, which is okay. Um, here's the interior, the dash and everything of the truck. It is, it is a very well done modded mod. Looks very well done. So we're gonna get. I'm gonna fix the seat because I, I don't. I don't like the, the position of the seat. And we're gonna get out of here and see what we can get into. Lay, lay it down a little bit there. So we got. We're heading. Uh, we got office supplies, and we're heading uh, to Nevada. We're in Utah. It's 11 hours and 19 minutes to get there. So let's go through. In this uh, next generation Kenworth. Hope everyone's doing well. I can't, I would say guys that there may be a little bit more lag. Um, Infinity updated the graphics drives and ever since they get that last update, it has been terrible. Um, a lot more lag than normal. We got about 245 miles to go on this trip. I have to say I do like the inside of this new uh, Kenworth. It does look good. Uh, this is uh, most likely what we will be seeing for the next truck from SCS is uh, this Kenworth. And we went the we was gonna turn the wrong way. Look at that. I think with a little bit more uh, updates to this mod, uh, maybe add some support for some engine packs. Uh, maybe Creech Bomb can make some engine packs for this mod. Uh, it'd be it'd be real really nice. I, I do like the the truck. Kind of looking around. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you enjoyed the content. I've been really enjoying getting in here and making content for you guys. Uh, thank you for everyone who's been subscribing. Thank you for all the comments and stuff that we're getting on the channel. Uh, really, it really means a lot. Love to see it. Um, and, uh, 
And if I don't answer right away, I am pretty busy with I have a full time job plus recording and streaming and all that. So sometimes I get where I can't respond to you right away. And I'm going to be having a big announcement coming up very soon. It may not happen as soon as I want it to. It may actually be after the first of the year. It's going to just kind of depend on how things go. With everything. straight on outside view of the truck here I do like the front of it it looks a little bit more aggressive the front of these uh, the, of this new one where they got the headlights and all fixed it is a uh, it's a lower uh, to the ground truck too uh, I'm not a really a big fan of the afro that's on the back of it uh, but you can't on this mod. You can't re remove that. Go straight on. And how many? How many of you guys think we'll see Texas this year? I don't think we'll see it this year. I think it's gonna be late, early next year before we get it. Keep right, and then turn right. We gotta turn. Turn right. Maybe we're gonna have to get over. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you've really been enjoying the content. I've been really enjoying, like I said, getting and doing a lot more. Um, Keep right and then turn right. I don't know if we're going to do any more of uh, Far Cry 6. Uh, the videos did not really get a lot of views. and That's kind of what we go by on this channel is uh, the views and... It, it really didn't get enough, I don't think, to keep it going. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Give you another outside look at the truck here. The antenna is flapping there on the mirrors there. Nice little touch.
food control is on. So we got 222 miles to go. Ah, hit the wrong button. Trying to fix the map. And I hit it again. That'll be okay. Now we can close it back. Like I said, guys, I do apologize for the for the, little, the lag that I'm getting. A lot of that lag now is coming from um, Nvidia update of their last drive, the drive update. And ever since that last update, it's been terrible. We're going to go ahead and get a thumbnail. We'll go ahead and take care of that. There we go. See if we can get it up there, the speed limit here. I don't know if it's going to make it. It's uh, running 500 horsepower, but it must be a heavy load off of supplies. Oh, we got it.
They go across the scale. Alright, weighed 78,541 pounds. Now guys, I'm unaware if this truck actually, because it is a mod, but I'm unaware if it actually appears in traffic. Uh, some of these don't, um, and, I, and I, it doesn't say if it's on the quit job menu either. That's, I can't answer that because it, it does not say that. Oh, my controller just quit working. My controller just quit working on the camera. It's just... Quit. Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can get another controller. All of a sudden, I'm just sitting there playing, and he just... Uh, starts acting ridiculous. So let me try a different controller and see if maybe it's just that controller. I do apologize for that. Not where I wanted this video to go with this truck. Controller just pulled itself to that, and it wouldn't stop. It wouldn't stop uh, removing. It wouldn't do nothing. If we can get it up to speed.
I like the fact that they uh, had signs that says watch for deer and there's never no deer. We got 85 miles to go. Get to see the truck a little, a little bit at night here. Across scale again. All right, seventy five, seventy eight thousand four hundred and thirty six pounds. Kind of a night shot of the truck. My hand hit it.
We're taking off of supplies of Tesla. It's all over now. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, they went right in that corner. So we're gonna have to, um. Maybe to back it around. Turn it down just a little bit, that back of alarm is pretty loud. Still pretty loud, isn't it? So what we're going to try to do is I'm going to try to back into that area right here and then we're going to kind of pull up. We can kind of get at least get it over that way. Now we're going to pull up and we're going to back it into that right there, into the area it's supposed to be backed into. Not quite good and good enough for me. It is a tough spot, so we're gonna have to work it a little bit here.
Let's see if we can straighten it up. And I think that's pretty good. So we drove extra, drove 248 miles, took us 6 hours and 24 minutes to get here, 34.1 gallon of fuel, and the little controller accident that we had, so. There's no loads here. Not here at uh, Tesla. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I want to show you a little bit more on this truck in the garage before we let it go. Before we uh, end the video. But uh, I found this this mod over on ATS Mod Site. So it was uh, just my message just released today. It's the next generation T680. Um, there is rumors that SCS is working on one of these trucks. So that's probably going to be the next truck we will get from SCS. It's this exact truck. So we're going to go over to the garage real quick. So you can take a look at uh, what we got here. Go over here to access mod dealership. Kenworth. Now it comes just like the original T680. It comes with three. Yeah, next generation T680. Mid sleeper. There's two versions of the mid sleeper. And then there's the high rise version of the truck. Uh, pretty much basic. As you can see, it is lower to the ground um, than the original T680. But pretty much a basic looking truck. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of customization options. I mean, it does, but it's pretty much uh, basic stuff. I mean, you can put a bug chill, you can put wiper mirrors, you can put um, the bull guards on it, change bumpers. Uh, but not nothing too, uh, you know, too crazy. Um, has a pretty good bit of the side skirting. Like that. And you do the plastic. You want to, yeah. Actually, that doesn't look too bad with the green and that black like that. It looks pretty, pretty good. If it wasn't plastic, if it was like black down there and that was green, that left would look pretty neat. Yeah. But I uh, wanted to get in here and, ma and make a video with it. I fin like I said, I've seen it on mod sites and it actually looks, it is a pretty decent looking truck. So, we're going to run it for a little bit on this profile. This is one of my other profiles and uh, see how we like it. So I want to say thank you for everyone who's been watching. Thank you for everyone has been subscribing. And I do apologize for the problem with the controller. Uh, it just uh, went, went its own way. So, and everyone thank you and have a good night.